Where'd all the beer go? We're making these cute little beer coasters. They're made out of these beer bottle containers. These are really cool. Yeah. They have felt on the bottom and then they have cardboard logo on top. They're super easy to make. They're super durable, They're super cute. It would be a perfect Father's Day gift. I am a dad and I would like <laughs> a beer coaster like this. You're gonna need these little um, ceramic tiles. I think they were $3 for four. Oh, that's so cheap. They might have, somewhere from two to five dollars. They were not expensive at all. Why would you use white or black? Just doesn't matter? It just matter? depends on what look you're going for. I actually kind of want to do the black this time since the felt yeah. is black. Might look kind of cool to have it together. And also the Sharpie kind of leaves a mark if you're tracing. Oh, I see. Got a little on, yeah. these, on these testers. If you do want to do little, white though, you sharp. can get a extra white one, like an extra ceramic white tile and then you can use this for tracing and then use this for your finish so you don't have black on it when you're done. So all we need is the tiles, beer boxes or crates, right? Mm -hmm. Six packs. Do you have to use like this kind of cardboard or what could you use other stuff too? I think the cardboard works best since we're using Mod Podge to stick it on, which can mm -hmm. kind of, if you're using paper, it works, but sometimes it'll leave the paper bubbly or it'll kind of bend it in weird ways. Cardboard's pretty durable with the Mod Podge. What about like sports cards, like old like baseball cards? You could totally do something like that. That'd be really cool. You could do like any kind of card really because it's that really thick material kind of like cardboard. Probably not like the expensive ones though, don't like. Yeah. <laughs> don't take your dad's old baseball cards. Don't cut up some expensive cards. <laughs> yeah. Are baseball cards still like a thing? I don't know mm. anyone who collects them. I know people collect Pokemon cards. <laughs> Ooh, Pokemon. Ooh, make some, make Pokemon, some Pokemon coasters. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. I have a little stencil right here that we can use for our felt and for our cardboard. I already used this box, but you can see on the other side, I cut off this whole piece right here. So you can just cut that off on the other side. Okay, so we're looking for like a nice big spot of cardboard. You're cutting off the part that you want to be on the coaster. We can refine it later, make it smaller, whatever, but just make sure that you have the piece that you want. This one says hops, barley, water, rice. <laughs> that could be, I mean, that could be cool because we already did the logo one. That way we have a matching pair. I think I'm gonna to do the little, one. the little orange guy right here the sunglasses, because he's pretty cute. What do I do with this? Is this recyclable now? That's recyclable, yeah. You don't need that. Should we make a third one with the Guinness? Yeah, let's do a third one. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna do black with mine. I'm gonna trace it using this coaster though, just because I wanna play this. Safe. So when you're tracing, basically all you have to do is just put your tile over it, make sure it's lined up exactly where you want it, or else um, it's not gonna work out. See, normally we have like trash bins and stuff under here, but not today. Sorry, I missed this last step. What are we, we're tracing. You're just gonna put your tile on top of the logo that you, like where you want it to be. Okay. Then you're gonna take a Sharpie and then go ahead and trace it out. I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time getting this like square with the coaster. So what do you think if I like did it intentionally offset? I think intentionally offset would be a good idea, yeah. If you make it really crooked, then it looks intentional. And then when you cut it out, you're gonna wanna get the edge of the black. So you don't have any black on it. So yeah, mine's gonna be interesting. You can cut this square smaller so that when it shows up on here, it'll have like the white outline. It's just with the rounded edges on these ceramic tiles, it can be a little hard to get it perfect. You need a really yeah. nice cut for this, right? Cause this is gonna be the featured image. Yep. So don't mess this part up. But worst case scenario, you can always make it smaller and then have the white outline. I never knew it was so hard to cut through this cardboard. It's very sturdy. I think it's cool because you get to make it however you want. If you really like some obscure beer or something that like they don't have it's coasters. It's completely customizable. They look like a gift you could buy, but the fact that you can customize it and make it your own, I think makes it fun and unique. All right, how's this looking? Looks should I, pretty should good. I trim any of the, I got a little bit of Sharpie here. Trim it off. Trim a little bit of that. What about like something other than scissors? You think like an X-Acto knife would be an good? An X-Acto knife would be maybe even better than scissors, honestly. You wanna place it over the tile, make sure it's how you like it. All right, I'm gonna go with the white one. All right, I'm gonna square this one up to match the other one, then we have a pair. It's hard to get these edges perfect. It's always dangerous when you're working with Sharpies. It's kind of a weird hack, but I use um, hand sanitizer to get Sharpie off. Ooh. Like if you ever get Sharpie on a surface where you don't want it, you can totally use hand sanitizer. Just rub it on and it'll come off right away. Being very precise with my cuts here. I don't want to mess yeah. these gifts up. It needs to be perfect. Okay, I think 
pretty much good on mine. And then for the back side of the coasters, you're gonna use a little felt square. You can get felt sheets like these at Michael's. They come in all kinds of different colors, so whatever you wanna do. I found that cutting them a little bit smaller and having the border is better, just so they don't peek through. Okay, and the felt, well, it's just so when you're sliding it on the table, it doesn't scratch it, or? Yeah, so it keeps the coaster from hurting the table. Yeah, and then it softens the sound, too. it's not a noisy coaster. Right. Ow! <laughs> it was loud. Let's do the sound test. All right. See, that's nice. Nice and quiet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you that gotta do the so felt. much better. <laughs> right, this one I'm gonna make black one. Next, you're gonna pour a little bit of Mod Podge oh. into a cup. Ooh, is it, it's Mod? Mod, Mod Podge. Podge. Mod Not Podge. Mod Podge. I always say Mod Podge. Everyone says Mod Podge. Yeah. But it's Mod Podge. They should change the name. In this step, we're basically putting the cardboard logo onto the ceramic tile. You're gonna wanna use a little brush like this, square flat brush. You're gonna dip it into Mod Podge. You don't need a ton. You're gonna get it on the back of the cardboard. Cardboard so first, spread. okay. It smells like glue. Ooh. Do not inhale. Yeah. It's non-toxic though, so you can eat it. Non-toxic. No, you can't eat it. Don't eat oh. it. I'm not gonna recommend someone eat it. <laughs> You'll probably get sick and then blame me. <laughs> I just want to know who wants to eat Mod Podge. People eat glue. So you want to use just enough, but not too much, that it gets your cardboard wet. What, what what amount is that though? Just like the perfect amount. The right amount. The right amount. Then you want to stick it down perfectly the first time. It's All okay. the way to the edges, yeah. All the way to the edges. And then, while it's setting, you can stack stuff on top of it to make sure that the edges are like Ooh. well held down. Like a, like a book a or book something? A book would be good, yeah, like a big heavy book. You could stack other tiles on top of it, like look at that. How fast does this dry? Fast, 15 minutes. And while even, you're waiting on that side go. too, cut out felt squares for the back and start getting those ready to put on. So I'm just sticking this straight on. Sticking it straight on. Then while I'm waiting for mine to dry, I'm just stenciling out some felt with a Sharpie. This dries clear, right? So if I get a little bit on the front, that's okay? Yeah, you can smooth it out a little bit so it doesn't get like rough, but it dries clear so you won't really be able to see it. You'll just be able to feel it. Get some weight on here. Put some weight on there. Do the Guinness one real quick. You're cutting the felt squares for the bottom. That's just the same process, right? Just yep. trace it, make it the same size. You said a little smaller. A little bit smaller, so this part doesn't need to be as perfect. Because it's the bottom, no one's gonna see it. Because you know someone's gonna look at the bottom. Oh, you made this, hmm. Oh, it's a little crooked here. Right? You tell people you make it and then they pick it apart like, give me a break, I'm sorry that I'm not a factory. Better. If you give this to someone as a present and they say it's not perfect, take it back. <laughs> it's not theirs anymore. I actually cut it, I think, a little bit bigger. Like it turned out, but you could go back and refine the edges. Oh yeah, for sure. Are we Mod Podging the felt to the bottom too, is that? Yes, the oh, Mod Podge cool. is gonna be felted to the bottom. I like that, we only need like the one glue. This would be a great activity for a Father's Day gift. Um, would not recommend it if you're using X-Acto knife. The felt pads that I cut out, I made them just a little bit smaller than the coaster. I feel like when I see most coasters are like that anyways. So when you're applying this with Mod Podge, you wanna use a thin layer just because the felt is porous and it could seep through, which would not be good. So the first time we did the Mod Podge, it was on the cardboard, but now we're doing it on the tile. Yeah, now we're doing it on the tile. Okay. Oh my gosh. Did you ever do that in grade school? You put glue on your hands and makes your skin all wrinkly? You peel it off once yeah. it dries. <laughs> I did do that. So These white tiles have like a rough texture that's like more porous. Mm -hmm. Sticks a little easier. The black ones, oh, they're that right noise. here. That noise. Oh, you scratch. Oh, does that bother you? <laughs> that's like, ugh. But these black ones, they're more smooth. Mm -hmm. They ha almost have a finish on them. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this is cool. You could make like a puzzle. See how it's like, if you like got them, they're like Oh, that. whoa. You could make a puzzle out of them. It seems okay. to be set pretty good on both sides. So I'm gonna apply Mod Podge to the top of it. More Mod Podge? More Mod Podge. More Mod Podge. More Mod Podge. The Mod Podge is gonna seal it? Yeah, so it'll be waterproof. Oh, so, that's what you want on a coaster. Comes on white, but I promise you it dries clear. I try to be nice with my brush strokes on this part just because you're gonna see it. Yeah, I'm going for like a all the way across the coaster. One direction, straight across. And you're gonna actually do this step three times. Three times? 
And you only really need to wait 10, 15 minutes in between. Okay. What if you're doing like all four of them? You yeah, do one, you the do next, one. you just you... And then once you have all of your Mod Podge layers on top, you're gonna add a um, polyurethane varnish. When Mod Podge dries, it's very matte. This makes it glossy. Something. Oh, that's why these look so nice. Yeah, it adds a little something something. Very like relaxing. It's very it therapeutic. Is. It's like painting. So it says Mod Podge is glue, but it's also a sealer and there are varnishes, etc. In the formula, they don't, that doesn't exist in craft glues. The bonding properties of Mod Podge are way stronger than that of most craft or school glues. Which is just what you want to do on Father's Day. Bond. You know, bond with you dad. You want to bond. So use <laughs> Mod Podge. <laughs> what I've learned about crafts is that it's all about glue. It's like Mod Podge or hot glue or super glue. It's all glue. Glue is just what holds all the crafts together. This is a key to every craft. This little magic bottle. Oh, you're using Elmer's glue? <laughs> <laughs> you clearly know nothing. How come we never use Mod Podge in school? Like, right? we'd make all these horrible craft projects using Elmer's glue because nothing would stick together. So when do you know it's time for the next code or the third code or? It'll be completely clear, it won't be sticky. Like if you just gently touch it once it's completely clear, you can feel that it'll be pretty solid, not sticky at all. All right, I think I gotta wait for these to kind of bond. I'm getting all that glue off my hands. That's how you know you've been working hard at a craft. And you got... I don't have any glue, I feel left out. Not working hard. I don't know if that's, a, if that's part of the Mod Podge formula, they get a little airflow on it. You could blow dry it. You could? Yeah. Use on all surfaces. Anything? Apparently. Store at room temperature. Apply with brush or sponge applicator. Clean up while wet with soap and water. To eliminate tackiness, apply clear acrylic sealer. That's what this is, yeah? Yep, that's our gloss varnish. Over cured Mod Podge. There's a puzzle saver. Protect work surface under finished puzzle. Oh. So you build a puzzle and you, you don't ever want to do it again. So you just mod podge mod over podge it. The, is that what you're supposed to do with a puzzle? I thought that puzzle was like you build it and then you do it again. But if you think about it, it's, it's kind of like, like little paintings, like photos. You could frame it. Do people frame their puzzles? I don't know, I've never done that before. No. I don't think I've ever gotten through a puzzle by myself. Yeah, like a 500 piece? Oh no. No, you get like a corner and then you're, oh, come back to this and then you do it. All right, let me do this again. That's a secret right there. Blowing on it? Yeah, but you gotta get the little, Really make it really fancy. That way there's a little bit of spit on it. So like you're, Ew. like you're really putting yourself into your work. You could sand down the edges if you wanted and kind of make it like distressed. What about like uh, like overall, like give it like a vintage look. You could do it on like, top too. Dad, these beer coasters are from 50 years ago. 50 years ago. I made them yesterday. That'd be a fun way to use some like really old, like, I don't know, probably not a newspaper because you said like you want it more sturdy, but I some mean, like really old trash. Some old thing that you have like in your like grandpa's yeah. attic. You could use the front page of like a comic book or something or like oh, something that's yeah. thick like that, like a like magazine. That. Like your diploma. Turn your diploma into a coaster. Ooh, like an old passport, there you go. That'd be kind of pretty though. Because you get all those stamps, the old ones, they don't do the stamps anymore. Oh yeah. I don't think, or maybe they do, if they still do the stamps, I you know? I think they still do. You have like an old passport stamps. with a bunch of stamps in it, you can make coasters with some of the stamps, that'd be fun. Yeah. I'm still waiting for this guy to dry. This is the advanced method for two at a time. It's a good workout too. I think we got a little carried away. Yeah. We did a lot. <laughs> We ended up doing oh. more than just beer. I did some comic book. We got Spider-Man and Deadpool, the Avengers. We got, got all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, those ones turned out really cool. We also took like some little beer can packs. Is that what you call them? Yeah, so instead of the beer carrier, it was the actual like long box. The boxes. We already did varnish on a few of these, but yeah. just to show you what that process is like, it's very, very easy. We're just basically doing what we've been doing the whole time. Duraclear gloss varnish. Basically, all you do is take that same brush that you use for the Mod Podge, rinse it off. Got new cups. Get it all ready and just brush it on. It goes on a lot smoother than the Mod Podge. Yeah, it, it goes on basically clear anyway. Yeah, and it dries super quick. So one thing I noticed when doing this, yours were drying a lot faster than mine, and I think it's because I was using too much of the Mod Podge. It just takes longer. So if you do it in thinner coats, you can kind of get through it quicker. Wait, I really like these. Me too. Especially with the black ones, those look really nice on the sides. They look really clean. I like, like the black ones. professional. I think that if you're gonna do it, do the black. Definitely a fun, nice gift that looks almost like it was kind of store-bought, 
but with the fact that you can customize it and kind of do it any which way and say like, I made this, I think is just a really nice, nice gift. It shows a lot of thought yeah. and attention. It is a good gift. And that's a fun, easy thing to do. It only took us like, what, like an hour? An hour, it's easy to customize, easy to do, it's cheap. But we've got coasters, we need drinks. Yeah, oh, we gotta put the Bud Light on the Bud Light coaster. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It works. Nice right, so done, cheers. Mm. It's been sitting for a little bit, so it's <laughs> a little bit warmer. Kind of warm. Awesome job. High five. <laughs>